Well, South Africans, um, welcome to Advocate Mayakwa Speak social media platforms. As I've indicated before, we are not just on YouTube, we are also on TikTok and also on Reels lately. And um, obviously we've been talking about the Ukraine and Russia situation. And I think it's important to first indicate that the views that I share in these videos are my own personal views. They are in no way a reflection of the government of South Africa or the department for which I work and or other clients for which I, 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 I provide a service to. But I think these views are necessary because as South Africans, we need to reflect around all issues that affect us directly and or indirectly. And one of the things that I want to address is the double standards that the Western nations are having when it comes to international peace and security. You know, while the world is so fixated about what is happening between Ukraine and Russia, we, we see that even presidents around the world are standing up and condemning the actions of Russia, which Russia is seen as an aggressor. We are seeing even our own president coming out and, 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 and trying to, 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 to encourage peaceful settlements of, of that dispute. We see our own minister of DECO also coming in the fray, Naledi Pando. And we also see South Africans going haywire, right? Making jokes about very serious things. But one of the things that I want to be very clear about is the double standards that the West has and also the pro-Western media has because there is this fixation that Russia is wrong and Ukraine is somehow a victim in all of this. Well, I'm not worried about the backstory and ideological differences and the reasons behind the conflict. But one thing that I want to clarify is the double standards. While Ukraine is being bombed into oblivion by Russia, there is another aggressor, Israel, that is bombing Syria. So everybody now is suddenly talking about Russia, how bad Russia is. Everybody, even in the UN, we saw the UN security uh, the, 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 the UN Secretary General coming out also addressing these issues. We saw really a lot of world leaders coming out and addressing the issue of Russia. Lo and behold, we also saw, I'm not sure if you did, but I did, the silence around the question and the behavior of Israel towards Syria. Nobody I didn't see anybody condemning their behavior. I didn't see it being addressed at the UN. I didn't see our president saying anything about the, the attack by Israel on Syria. I didn't see our minister of DECO say anything. All right. And I didn't even see the media reporting wildly about the, the, the Israeli-Syria situation as they did around the Russia-Ukraine situation. And I thought I come from a background where wrong is wrong. So which violations are, are better? And this is, ladies and gentlemen, in essence, the problem with the international system. It is about alignment ideologically. It is about who you are. It is not about the conduct of states. So, I want to conclude with this. It is important that when we are analyzing things, we must not just be narrow-minded. We must look at all sides, all sides, all sides, and then make our minds up what is right and what is wrong. And if it is wrong for the one, let us accept that it is wrong for the other. But we cannot have a situation where some people are holier than others. Some states are given better treatment than others whilst doing the same thing that is wrong. So if we're going to condemn Russia, let us equally do so to condemn Israel. Thank you very much, South Africans. We await the next video. Bye.